another one from 2007 poem, actually. Uh, this is The Roman A Clef. I hope some of you know the definitions before I start reading this poem. Roman A Clef means an autobiographical fiction. Um, this is just a pitch I've been doing, that I've done for uh, many years, and not for anyone to steal from me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Here's how it starts. Move over, James Bond. There is the Italian version of your kind. Unlike 2000, I'm, I'm sorry, unlike 007, there is UX-80. Yeah, Ian Fleming came out with the idea when living the World War II era. Sorry, but I had to add in that there is Matt Newman. Living the life of his character, that's supposed to be fiction. So let's move over to Casino Royale, there is June Bugger. The star of Indigo Zillia's Italian CIA career. Let's move back some into my life when replacing the name with someone something new here. Indigo Zillia will make it worthwhile when he, accent, when he had an accent with a pill. After the experiment on the brain and the body, this organic computer intake has done him well. Using the year 1997, yeah, that's where Indigo Zillia will begin. <laughs> In my story called How the Human Psychology Can Trick You, due to an event that made my life in a perfect view. Not making it completely about me, this will be tricky. So pay attention to the upbringing of the character, Indigo Zillia, and how he made it possible to have himself as a test experiment. He tried to figure out in Omni Middle School what can cure him of not being learning disabled. So he takes the nutritional organic computer pill as it scans him from the inside picking up parts of his body. After understanding every part, liquidated organic computer chip flows to his frontal lobe. As it installs there, he opens his eyes and it worked in front of a crowd. They clap, they cheer as the rest of this process is nearly done, substituting skin with the black organic suit coming from underneath picking up that there is clothes on him in order to make outstanding progress. Covering every inch of his body, where the chest is, a silver metal plate has taken the form of a muscle in a distorted way. The abductors as well, but less than eight where there is six anyway. His headpiece of the suit goes quickly from the back of his neck covering his head. The CPU mask, as it is known to be, is a way to connect with the head of the Priori. Under only an emergency. Back then he doesn't know of them, therefore using it as a means of adding data to it. Such as picking up powers of paranormal activities, such things like electricity, water, the powers of the earth, especially so advanced that he turns out to be a weapon for the Italian CIA later. With unlimited abilities, so Wiccan or Pagan, that he can store the data and practice in his systematic suiting, where the mechanical arms are in storage, like a reader's manual to a cell phone before you add to it. So powerful and consistent those that come standard cannot add to his own weight, nor self-regulate. Being invisible, casting the spell, opening up the data on a certain ritual, ends up working on a dime or a nickel. How amazing it is to have the power, even in high school, for him where he learns to control it. Being loved by friends, understanding who I am, entertaining them like the life I have, been taking, even in volleyball, where the girls' team team taught me. Thank you, Amanda Sterner. Thank you, Kim Harper. Thank you, Ari Bravo. And thank you, Corey Vander, wherever you are out there. I love them all deeply in my heart. They'll be de dearly missed. For their names remain in the midst of this Romana cleft that I create, like the love I had for Kimber Morris, Joanna, Polomsky, 
Michelle Brackenbury, David Lindner, may he rest in peace and be remembered forever, Jody, Debbie, Megan Leahy, Ashley and Amy, Megan Gold, Megan Wynn, Megan Brook, Susan, Alana, and Lindsay Rosen, Lauren, Brooke, Shalene, Mrs. Poe, Katie Banks, the girls' volleyball team, and the rest that enjoyed my guitar serenading. <laughs>